My name is Ian and welcome to Planted. I'm on a mission to help you do more with plants. In this episode we're going to look at the planted courtyard. I want to show you how growth in late March really sets you up for a full and healthy colourful display come the summer. Gardening is a marathon, it's not a sprint. So much of our success in summer is based on our activity in the spring. So here we are at the end of March, and this is the beautiful American beech. I like this plant so much, it has the leaves that are retained through the winter, and they make a wonderful rustling sound. It just keeps them interesting and vibrant. And then you get this beautiful, fresh growth in the springtime, that opens up in um, May. So American Beach planted as a hedge kept about four feet high is a real winner. Now in a previous video I focused on peony Sarah Bernhardt but this is relevant for all peonies. Right about now the crowns are becoming very evident. Do not stand on them, do not damage them. This is the everlasting sweet pea. It's a really tough plant, beautiful white flowers but you have to search it. I actually got this by growing it from seed. It was a little tricky to get. But what I find is that come this time of year when the temperature is increasing and uh, the day length is longer and there's lots of sunshine, if you keep a layer of leaves around it, then what happens is that the slugs move in and take that nice fresh growth. So by bothering to get in there and very carefully removing those leaves, you make that environment just a little bit less conducive to slugs and uh, your plant can, can thrive and do well. And of course, it, if you see slugs eating the plant, you can see it and then take action. But this plant has got the most exquisite flowers, very delicate, pale white flowers. Now the Californian poppy, or Omnia culturae, is a plant I put in last year and it has in fact overwintered, which makes me very happy. I'm hoping this year that it rewards me with lots of foliage and we might even get some flowers. Tree Daddy was wrapped up. I did a video on inciting plants with leaves and I've carefully unwrapped it here and um, it is a huge crown. I know this is going to explode with growth. Very difficult to see it right now, but when you get these flowers eight feet up in the air, it's just wonderful. So uh, high aspirations for this plant, and there you see a shoot. Take time not to damage any of the little shoots that come out from this plant. It won't kill the plant, but it just sets it back slightly. Now a big hit last year, lots of people have liked the uh, video on growing time in between the bluestone slabs and the cobbles. And uh, every year it's a gamble. Sometimes it comes back, sometimes it doesn't. I think, to be fair, it comes back more often than not. But here you can see the little shoots growing. And what I will probably do is just let that grow. I know it looks a bit shabby right now, but I'll let it grow, see where it's got a little bald patch, and then I'll give it a bit of a trim. Uh, I don't want to be too quick too soon to get in there and start trying to shape it. We'll let it put on some growth, get some energy from the sun, and then we can go in there and give it a bit of a trim in probably a couple of months, sometime in, uh, in late May, I would think. It will grow really fast. Something to be mindful. This is, uh, we call it shepherd's purse, but this is a very common weed, and it's already germinated, flowered, and set seed. So whenever you find this, you want to get rid of it and get that seed out of your garden because it will very quickly set seed and then they will set seed again and you'll get a bit of an epidemic. So dig it up, get rid of it. Alstroemeria Casablanca. This was a true standout last year. And what we have here is we've got the center plant that went in its little pot and you can see there's all sorts of side growth coming out from it. So this was special last year, and this year it'll be more than twice the size. You see these little shoots that are coming out. So if the plant went in as a, a four or five inch pot, this year that crown will be at least 10 inches, maybe even 12 inches across. 
producing a lot more flower spikes. But yet again, similar to the peony, you want to uncover it, find it, and do not accidentally stand on it. And I know people like to add lots of mulch, but you don't need to be quite so liberal that that crown gets swallowed up. Now my greenhouse has got all sorts of ugly plants growing in it, but I know that they're going to turn beautiful. I've had people ask about the heating of the greenhouse, and here you can see that we've got the thermometer reading 60 degrees, and it's about 45 degrees outside at 8.30 in the morning. So that's really good, easy temperature gain. Another subscriber asked me about watering dahlias. These were featured in their own video, and I don't water them much until they put out new shoots. Once they put out shoots, they can evaporate water and the demand for water increases. And of course, don't forget the spectacular Anacidontia, a true flowering machine. Thank you for watching. Please tell your friends, tell your family. Happy planting.